the reversible path is idealized and is assumed to be at equilibrium. Look at the piston. The external pressure is equal to the internal gas pressure, so there should be no change. However, we assume a very small difference, so the path followed is along the isotherm. There is only one reversible path. The final pressure is 5 atmospheres. Now let us consider an irreversible path. The external pressure suddenly drops to one atmosphere. The gas quickly expands as the pressure drops. Watch the piston and follow the path which now does not lie along the isotherm. Another irreversible path is to suddenly let the external pressure jump to 5 atmospheres. The gas then compresses as it catches up. Watch the piston pressure and compare with the path followed. Watch the paths a number of times until they make sense to you and you know the difference between a reversible and irreversible path.